Ah, that even stung a little bit. Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Street Fighter Bishoujo Sakura statue. If you're trying to pre-order this, you can do so at Big Bad Toy. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Thanks so much to Kotobukiya for making the review possible. If you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, check the links below. And this is a beautiful looking statue over here. My brother used to play this character all the time when he used to live here, so I'm used to hearing that. Nah! From him getting his butt kicked playing that game anyway. No, I'm sure he's great at it. But anyway, there's a drawing right over there of Sakura. And then right over there, you can see a couple poses of the statue. And then there's a read up on Sakura. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then coming next, poison. Then over here, you see another drawing. And then up top, not much more going on. At the bottom, not much more going on. All right, let's get to it and crack nah! this thing open. And here's Sakura out of the packaging. And this is just a great statue. I really love the way they sculpted this motion over here in the fabric. You could really see that she's just jumping up like that with that uppercut. I really like the bare legs over here with the short little skirt. It may not be for everybody. Some people don't like Asian girls with little short skirts. I'm a big fan of that. And I just think that overall it's a really good looking piece. Really nice paint on it as well. Again, I just really like this action pose. And she does have this lean going on over here too. So anyway, she does come with the same base that we've seen with the other Street Fighter figures. So let's take a closer look at that and then we'll take a closer look at Sakura. Uh, what you do here is you get the two options for displaying. Uh, you want to pick this bottom piece off right over here. There's just this little tab that sticks out and you have these two options right there. So you have the image of Sakura and then you have just Street Fighter. I always combine the two of them and put them over here and just slip that right back on. And then you do get, whoop, you gotta make sure you put it on the right way though. And then you do get these little ports that stick out of the bottom of the base or the top of the base. You can see this little section right over here and then you get this little port right over there and it goes right into her right shoe and then you can put her on there. So she stands only on one foot and I think it stands really well. I'm surprised how well it stands with just having the one foot right there. And again, as I had mentioned earlier, she does have this really cool lean. Here's a looking at the head sculpt and I also really like the hair on here. I think this brown and black looks really good. I like how it's mixed in together right there and you see it flailing upwards. So really nice sculpt on the hair. The face looks pretty good too. I really like the flesh tone. I think the paint came out really Really good for this. The eyes look pretty solid. You can get those eyelashes and the eyebrows look pretty good. I like that paint for the mouth. You get some nice pink. One little nitpick thing for me though is even though it's an anime styled statue, I feel like the nose is very pointy. Very thin actually. Not so much pointy but it's just like a very thin nose. But that's just one of my two very very minor gripes with this piece. Then looking at the arm over here you get some nice flesh tone again. Nice glossy red paint right there for the gloves. She even has her little fingernail or thumbnail painted right there. And then looking at these little tassel pieces, I think these are great. Again, I just love the motion that you could see in this statue. It's very, very hard to pick up, but there's some subtle blue paint right here, and I love that. Love light blue paint over white. Then this piece looks really good flailing up right there. Same thing with the front right there. You know, the little tie looks really good. The shirt looks great. You know, you can see it moving around and everything. You had a tiny little paint splotch right there on her knuckle. That's super minor gripe number two. And you could kind of see the color variation right there in the flesh tone. It's hard to pick up on it. I don't know if you could see it, but you get a little darker flesh tone right there around the abs, and I think that looks really good. And then you get some color variation right here with the skirt, and I just love the way the skirt is sculpted. Again, you can see the motion it looks really good. And you have a darker blue coming around the edges right over here. And I think that's awesome. Very nice attention to detail on this. And then you have these legs right here. So this part may not be for everybody, but you know, I'm a big fan of the beautiful legs. So, and I think they did a really good job sculpting that out. The proportions look really good. They look muscular, but not too muscular. Nice knees right over there, so that looks pretty nice. Then there's the nalgas, you know, you've got some nice panties and everything, so it's looking pretty good, man. Then looking at the shoes, they're detailed out as well, so you get some nice Chuck Taylors. The shoelaces are all painted very solid, so you don't have any bleeding going on with the paint at all. Very well done. And on this side over here, you could actually see the treads at the bottom. So while she's attached to the base, this statue is actually standing a little under 10 inches tall. I guess without the base, eh, closer to a little over nine. And then here's Sakura next to the other two Street Fighter Bishoujo statues that I have. We have Juri and then we have Kami over here. And I think they fit into scale pretty well. I still need to get the blue Chun-Li statue from Bishoujo. Really want that one. Then here's Sakura next to the Bishoujo Jubilee. And you can see these are actually pretty similar. You know, both Asian girls, a little short skirt, a little short shorts. I like that. And they both have the Chuck Taylors. But looking at the thickness of the legs over here, you can see how much larger Sakura is than Jubilee. And then here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. 
Now one thing I have to mention is that while moving the statue around, sometimes this port kind of lifts out a little bit and she'll lean a little bit more forward like that. She doesn't fall off the base at all, but you know, sometimes I find myself having to push her right back in like so. And she'll stay for the most part, but just needed to mention that. And I gotta say, overall, this is just a beautiful piece. I think Kotobuki is just killing it with these Bishoujos. Absolutely love it. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shart in your face. If you want to be a patron, please do so and click below. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Why are you clicking on videos that have Bishojo written on them if you don't like the sexiness?